Hello, I'm Stephen Moss. I'm, I work for The Guardian. I was set the task of um, memorising a poem. Uh, the government has decided it's a good idea for children to be able to memorise poems and get them by heart. And there's a very good website which the Department of Education has set up called Poetry by Heart, where they have 130 poems for you to memorise. So I chose Blake's Auguries of Innocence. Uh, they, they give 40 lines of it and set about memorising it. I've spent about um, two and a half to three hours um, trying to memorise the first 20 lines of the poem. And uh, we're doing this to prove that I have actually got them by heart. I should say that in that two and a half or three hours, I was interrupted um, quite a few times, so that I was not able to hugely concentrate on what I was doing. But um, it came reasonably, reasonably easily, and I quite enjoyed it, even though my head did start to hurt at various points. Uh, it, it takes great uh, concentration to try and actually get, get the words exactly by heart. Anyway, here we go. Um, the first 20 lines of Blake's Auguries of Innocence, which I've now completely forgotten, of course. Um, to see the world, sorry, to see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower, to hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. A robin redbreast in a cage puts all heaven in a rage. A, a dove house filled with doves and pigeons shudders hell through all its regions. A dog, starved at his master's gate, this is a really famous line, a dog, starved at his master's gate, predicts the ruin of the state. A horse misused upon the road, calls to heaven for human blood. The gamecock clipped and armed for, fr for fight. Causes, I'm not sure that's the word, but causes the human causes the rising sun a fright. No, I've got this wrong, I've got this wrong. I've missed a stanza. Sorry. Um, okay, okay. The fourth stanza. At least the fourth stanza was as I broke it up. The... Each... I've really failed my audition here. Each... Each, 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 Each something, each cry, each something cry of the hunted hare. A fibre from the brain does tear. A skylark injured in the wing. A cherubim does cease to sing. The so now back to the Gamecock. The Gamecock clipped and armed for fight causes the rising sun a fright. Each wolf's and lion's howl
causes root causes calls from hell a human soul some of those verbs might have been a little bit out but that's 98 percent it now i did intend to um try to learn all 40 lines um on on the website on the poetry at heart website but then i discovered that the actual poem is 132 lines long um so of course really one should learn all 132 lines. Um, so I'll come back to you in about a week on that. And I'm writing to Michael Gove, who I suspect was the originator of this policy, to ask why children are only being given one third of Blake's auguries of innocence to learn, when clearly the curriculum should demand that they learn the whole thing. Thank you.